When you receive your CDM, it'll come in this yellow carrying case. When you open it up, the parts that uh, are included in the case, as you can see here, are the CDM man manual. You will have six sampling vials filled with activated sieves, two funnels with a 20 mesh screen. Those funnels are for sampling. You'll also have five sampling cups. Included will also be containers for your calibration samples of 100% PPC, 80% rock dust and coal dust, and at 100% rock dust. You will also have a container of sieves to dry your calibration samples, and two containers of PPC with which to make your 80% calibration sample. For these larger calibration sample containers, there will also be a separate funnel that will go right on over top of the calibration containers. Included in the kit are also a spatula and a brush to clean the meter. And last but not least, you will also have a CDM. Periodically, you will be prompted to check the meter reflectance. Checking the meter reflectance is checking the optics of the meter to ensure correct operation of the meter. For this, you need to use the sample cup with the ears on it that comes with the meter. Do not use a sample or reflectance cup from another meter. And also, never use this cup to fill with sample for either calibration or measuring a sample in the mine. You will see in the bottom of the cup there is a substance that is specific to this instrument to check the meter reflectance. To check the meter reflectance, put the cup on the meter and lock it into place. Hold in the up arrow, turn the meter on, reference standard check, enter, put probe in cup, we have done that, enter, reading standard weight, standard check complete, reference standard within plus or minus 10 percent, enter, reference standard check complete, enter, turn off meter, turn the meter off, and you are done. There are some basic actions that you need to know to ensure proper usage and accuracy of your CDEM. One is to uh, use the reflectance cup when traveling, just simply put it on the probe, twist and lock into place to protect the probe when you're moving around either the mine or um, a building. Another basic action to know about is cleaning the probe. Between each and every sample, whether it is calibrating the meter or using the meter underground, you need to clean the probe. To clean the probe, you can use the palm of your hand to wipe any dust off. Make sure there's no dust in and around the probe. You can use your brush to clean that area also. You don't want to use any paper or cloth because that could statically charge the lens and attract either rock dust or coal dust to it preferentially, and that will give you a false measurement. You also don't want to use soap or some type of cleanser that way because it might leave a film on the probe and give you an incorrect measurement. Another basic step that needs to be taken when calibrating or using the meter in operation is to dry your samples with molecular sieves. Molecular sieves are small little round particles that will absorb the moisture from the sample. 
They dry the sample, but by using the funnel with the 20 mesh sieve, it will not go through the sieve and into your sample cup. You need to use the molecular sieves to dry the sample because if there is moisture within the sample, the sample will appear artificially dark, thus giving you an in incorrect measurement. When you collect a sample and mix the sample, you need to shake the sample in the container with the sieves for at least 60 seconds to ensure that it is completely dry. You may feel the container warm in your hand. That is a reaction from absorbing the moisture contained within the dust sample.